Hey everyone, this is Grace. Hope you've been well. Wanted to come on here and share with you my weekly Tuesday morning haul. You guys do know I like to start my weekends with my Tuesday morning hauls. Now, before I do though, I wanted to share with you um, an email that I received, and this is the ad to this weekend's um, Tuesday morning. And so I believe the sale starts, as it says here, November 18th on a Sunday. And so I'm just going to very quickly share with you. Oops. If I can, where's my mouse? If I can get it to scroll. There we go. So I know some of you may not have access to the ads or emails. So I thought I would share this with you. That's on sale. So for those of you who are interested in that, you can certainly do that. Although um, JCPenney during Black Friday will have that um, similar or maybe the same on sale. It's a little bit um, higher than that, but then the cover will be different colored. There's one that's like the Union Jack, which I thought was like fabulous. And then some of you may be interested in things like that. The little Jelly um, Belly Classic. That would be really cute to give as a gift. Um, I know that my sister bought one for the children's department, and the kids are always eating. You would think they'd get sick of jelly beans, but they don't. <laughs> they love, you know, dispensing those jelly beans. So anyway, there's a whole bunch of these. Now, this is what I think will interest many of you. You guys know that I think two weeks ago or so, I picked up some travel platforms, but these are now going to be on the ad. So I'll be curious to see if the Pasadena store actually carries these considering that they had like 20 of them out earlier. And I don't think it was for the special monthly um, sale because you know how the special monthly sales, the tags are green. All the ones that I picked up, they were white. So it'll be curious to see if they actually have more. I will tell you, though, that I did not see the protective sleeves in any of my three, um, two stores, actually, because I haven't been to the Laverne store in a while. <gasps> Can I just tell you, by the way, the manager at Laverne is so awesome. Lori, if you, I, I don't even think she watches my videos, but Lori is so awesome because my crafty colleague and I were talking, and my crafty colleague knows, oh, that's really pretty, huh, that I was not going to be able to go to Laverne yet again this week. And so, you know, she lives farther out that way. And so she told me that she would swing by. And then guess what type of text I received from her this morning? She shows me house mouse stamps. And I was like, oh, grab them. And then it turned out that Lori had been holding them for me. So such a sweet, I, I did tell you, right? I love my Tuesday morning peeps. Anyway, that is the ad in case some of you are interested. Um, it says here, sign up for email, sign up to hear about special offers, store openings, and more. For those of you who haven't received any emails and such, I would try that. And then that way you can get these ads earlier. Um, because if we don't go to the store, we may not see them and yada, yada, yada. So it's starting November 30th. Now, let me share with you this week's Tuesday morning haul. All right, so I did not get that many items. Um, I went on Wednesday, went to the Glendora store after my class, and it was so funny because I was thinking, oh, well, I guess I'm really not going to be able to go to Tuesday morning until at least Thursday because Wednesday was supposed to be a birthday dinner for my mother, and she's so cute. In the middle of my class, she texts me, and she says, would you mind terribly if we reschedule the birthday dinner to another day? Because your father and I are really full from the birthday lunch that your aunts treated us to. And I was like, no sweat, mom. So I, you know, canceled the reservation. And then I was thinking, hmm, I can now go to Tuesday morning. Yay! So that was what was fun. Anyway, um, let me share with you. So I went to the Glendora store on Wednesday evening after my classes and then on the way home from there I thought you know what let's just make a 10 minute detour drop by the Pasadena and see what they have so um, let me tell you that these two were from the Pasadena store and some of you may have seen my little excited post on Instagram these little guys plus these were from the Glendora store. So let me go ahead and share these with you in case some of you are interested in finding these. Now, 
Um, these are the Icon stamps. And remember the last time I hauled the Bow Bunny stamps, you know, we were talking about how the labeling was off and stuff. They are now no longer off. So 2050972299. And is this not great? So here's a secret. I really just got it for this. That because I thought, how cute would that be to stamp in my planner for when Bentley has to go to the vet, right? Um, no school is also something that's still relevant for me. Yeah, and just a lot of fun stuff. Swim, how cute is that? Oh, so many cute little things. And there's like the doctor's visit there and vacation and payday. That's fun. And then look at the birthday one there. Anyway, so I, I did pick this up, and for those of you who are new to planning, which I am too, but you know those little label stickers that you can get easily at Dollar Tree um, or any um, office supply store? I remember a while back, what was it, last year or two years ago, someone actually suggested just making a little fun activity of taking some of these stamps that you would use often. So for me, I would use VET, and I would stamp out maybe like two or three onto that little sheet. No school, I would stamp a few out too. And then that way, I can use them as stickers instead of, for those of us who are like, oh, I need to get out my stamp set to stamp this and whatnot, right? So they use these as stickers, which I thought was kind of cool with the little round circles. So yeah, but anyway, picked this up, thought this was so cute. 58 pieces, anniversary. It's pretty much, I think, an all-occasion thing. You get your choice of cupcake and cake and thumbs up, presents and so on and so forth. Movie night, right? Date night and all that. Wedding they even have. How cool is that? And then important. Anyway, if you guys want to look at this a little bit more closely, you can pause the video. Now, I finally found my Say Cheese. And as you can see, the label is correct now. 2050954, which is very different from this, which is 72 ending. This is the 54. Do you remember these? I do. I remember these, this and that, and this. So, throwback to the 80s when I grew up in 90s. And so, yeah, pick this up because I thought, how fun would this be to just stamp out vintage things? So. And then this one I believe I picked up, but it was such a perfect sentiment that I wanted to pick one up for a friend. So five two zero, I'm sorry, two zero five zero nine five five for two ninety nine. You are my moon and stars. Um, it says there are hundred languages, hundreds of languages, but a smile, a smile speaks them all. This one I particularly like. Every job is a self portrait of the person who does it. Autograph your work with excellence. Such a good challenge, huh? And then this one, remember that you're the one who can fill the world with sunshine. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. So, yeah, it was really sad earlier this week. Um, one of my students after class, and, you know, it, during office hours we were talking um, a few weeks ago, and I knew that, you know, she needed to be bolstered up, you know, confidence-wise. But after class this week... She hung around, and then after everyone had left, she came up to me, and she was asking me, she's like, Professor, do you think I'm dumb? And I just looked at her, and I'm like, what? Where is this coming from? And it turned out that um, she had had an earlier experience with another professor who had made her feel dumb, and isn't that just heartbreaking? And I was thinking realistically, I'm sure at some point, I hope that's not the case, but that some of my students may have, you know, felt that way too. I hope that's not the case, though. You know what I mean? I hope, I hope. But, um, yeah, it was, you know, it just was very sobering for me to take a, to realize I have to be very careful with every single word that I say with my students because some of them really are coming to school against so many obstacles and um yeah but I ended up spending some good time with her just you know building her up and reminding her that she is definitely smart none of my students are dumb you know I, I told her take that word out of your vocabulary dumb and stupid should not even enter into your vocabulary 
Um, but yeah, so these things certainly remind me. Um, so as I get ready to finish out the fall term, I'm kind of looking more and more at those sentiments. So anyway, so that was the Laverne store. Now, these little guys, can I just tell you, I almost missed them, but I thought, you know, Christmas, they have really pretty Christmas displays. You should go check it out, and am I glad I did. So those of you who are big Peanuts fans, you know Jim Shore is the only artist that Charles Schultz authorized to create the Peanuts gang, and I was never really a big fan of Jim Shore because it felt a little bit too, like, I don't know, edgy or hippie-ish or I don't know, but you guys know what I mean, right? Um, but maybe as I'm maturing, my tastes are maturing as well. This is called Special Delivery. There's the number there, 4042380 for those of you who do collect peanut stuff. This is by Inesco. This is called Special Delivery and the tag is on this upside down. So... Um, 2044634 four, for those of you who are on the hunt. And this was actually a perfect figure for me to find because you guys know I have a very special relationship with the mailbox and the post office and all of that happy mail stuff. So I thought it was so cute that Charlie Brown goes and his special delivery is Snoopy. So while I was there, though, this was out on display, and then they were really nice in the Glendora store to go to the back and find me the, you know, box. Um, because I did want to have the box, too, for um, easier storage in case I end up needing to store it. Now, this was actually in its box, and I wasn't even able to take it out until I got home because it was taped up so well. But this is called Life is Better with a Dog. And you guys know this is so perfect for me and Bentley, so... Take a look at the detail on this, right? And then this one, the tag is actually on the box. So let me read this for you in case some of you are in the market for finding this. 2044635, so $14.99. And this is just called Friendship. But the title of this is Life is Better with a Dog. So you'll notice the retail says $45. Um, and then I got these for $14.99. On Amazon, I think they're a little bit less than $45. But still, $14.99 is an incredible deal. So pick that up. So that was the Glendora store. And then as I made my way to the Pasadena store, let me pan down here. Um, I looked through and they had quite a lot of stuff, like lots of bow bunny paper. Oh my goodness, I was so tempted to get bow bunny paper, but I told myself, you've purchased quite a bit from G stashes, you've received quite a bit, so stay away from the cute little bow bunny, you know, paper, right? But I happened to come across this, which you guys know, Art Impressions makes very good stamps and dies, and so here... 1990889 for 3.99 and I'm not a big Santa Claus fan but I thought this would be so cute and you can see how dimensional he is and then you stamp him out of course die cut him and then you pop him up and so when you open the card it pops up now on this one it just looks like a two layer card but there was one that I saw on the internet in which the crafter had made a trifold card you know, one of those accordion style ones. And Santa Claus was us at the very end. And so I thought, what a nice surprise. Because you open it thinking, oh, it's just a normal card. And then you look like a normal trifold card. And then you look at the very end and you're like, oh, Santa Claus is popping up and waving hello. So anyway, pick this up. So for hopefully some of you will be able to find this. I only found this. And it was like the single one. So I don't know. And you know how um, I would, for those of you who don't find it in the regular craft aisle, you may want to check the Christmas aisle because you know that they're also putting some of the Christmas crafts in the Christmas aisle. So, All right, now the last item I picked up from the Pasadena store um, was this. Okay, so let me quickly give you the skew. Hold on. So the skew is 2-0. What are you? Five five eight five eight. Let me 
zoom in for you. Okay, so it's supposed to be regularly $19.99 for $6.99. The pack is called Good Day Sunshine Paper Pack. Now, take a look. It says here 50 sheets of 12 by 12 designer paper and embellishments plus storage case for easy organization. All right, so you guys know by now I am a sucker for really cute storage cases, simple storage cases. So this is what the storage case looks like. It comes in this plastic, so that's what the storage case is. And they have it here at Good Day Sunshine. They have it on the sides too. And I thought that this was such a great idea. Look. So this is how they're storing it. Right? And so um, I looked at the paper pads. And it felt a little bit kind of spring for me. But it was nice enough that I thought, you know, for $6.99, this is actually a really great deal. So a lot of embellishments. I think there's like stickers too. So here, this is what you get. So you get four glitter coated pattern papers and then 40 patterned papers themselves. So that usually we would pay at Michael's what? I usually pay for something at Michael's, right? So, and I thought these papers are really nice, kind of muted, but still pretty. And then it says here six embossed tags and then you have embossed stickers and then you get six textured cardstock papers. So this is thicker, this is probably thinner, which, you know, sometimes we actually want the thinner papers, right, instead of the really thick cardstock, so. Anyway, I thought this was a great deal, especially here, take a look at the spine. Right? Wouldn't that be great to um, just easily store? Because the way that I store my 12 by 12 paper when I get around to storing them is in those big thick iris containers that we usually buy at Michael's when they're like, what, $3 or something like that. I think the cheapest, cheapest I've purchased them ever was like two seventy five dollars or something. But anyway, they are bulky, and then I end up putting like three or four um, paper pads in there. This one is thin enough to just fit one, and then you don't have to worry about the little scraps that you tuck into the paper pad falling out because it's nicely contained in this case. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. It is a relatively small Tuesday morning haul, but I thought it was a good enough one to certainly share, especially this. Isn't that so cute? And then you guys know, I, I was so thrilled to find my Peanuts gang, or at least Charlie Brown and Snoopy. So um, de deciding where to house my little guys, whether at home in my curio cabinet or, whoops, sorry, or to take it to my office. So we'll see. But anyway, some of you may remember last weekend, I did say that this will be my official last Tuesday morning haul for at least a few weeks until the fall term is over. Now, having said that, I will tell you that I do plan on dropping by Tuesday morning only if there is a clarion call from some of you about House Mouse being in the house. So what was really funny was um, my colleague actually, she went to the Laverne store this morning um and she said she sends me this picture with house mouse stamps and i was like oh grab them and then um she said that the manager had helped them and as they were talking she told her that she knew me and so they were okay and then so she bought them for me isn't that wonderful ah oh, my crafty colleague she's so awesome anyway so she's like i got them for you i will have them for you next week so that was quite, quite exciting, can I just say. So um, I was thinking to myself, oh, drats, I'm going to have to break my promise or my commitment and enter into Tuesday morning. But then, you know, I was like, oh, but it's for house mouse. So that's still okay within my little self, you know, imposed rules. But she picked them up for me. So I don't even need to go to house, you know, to Tuesday morning anymore. But anyway, um, I know, I'm kind of sad that I've made this decision to not go into a Tuesday morning until the fall term is over. But fall term is over in the middle of December. So I most likely will not 
Mexico to Tuesday morning for the next few weeks. And in lieu of my weekly Tuesday morning hauls, you will actually see in place of that my Advent um, season giveaways. So every Friday, um, once Advent season starts, I'm hoping to um, post that up. So kind of keep that in mind for those of you who are really super sad about Tuesday morning because some of the items that I give up in the giveaway are going to be from Tuesday morning. So it's still related to Tuesday morning. Agreed? Yeah. And then also, um, for those of you who've been interested in the House Mouse collab or the um, Graphic 45 collab that I wanted to do in 2019, I will be posting an invitation for that next weekend. So right around Thanksgiving, as you are resting and enjoying time with family, just pop on by. And um, I think I'm going to be announcing it next week. And then I'll close the... Um, invitation in early December. So you'll still, I think you'll have like a good one to two weeks to think about it, to see the video and so on. So, all right. I think that is it. Have a great weekend. If this is the only video that you see from me this weekend. Otherwise for me, I have several videos planned. A number of the Christmas card fundraiser entries have arrived as well as some lovely goodies. So, all right. That is it. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.